Have you ever poked a hornet's nest? On a related note, full-size pickup truck fans are a passionate bunch. Did you know that the top three best-selling vehicles in America are the Ford F-Series, Ram Pickup, and Chevrolet Silverado? Given their prominence, it's smart to compare these titans. Sorry, Nissan. Knowing full well the outrage and truck-related zealotry such a comparison might inspire. Oh man, the comment section is gonna catch fire on this one. All right, let's poke that nest. The Chevrolet Silverado is all new for 2019. Given the subjective nature of style, you might love or hate its design, but the latest Silverado has many objective improvements worth highlighting. Built atop an all-new frame that's lighter and stronger with a 4-inch longer wheelbase, this bad boy steers with improved accuracy, returning a firm but pleasing ride. While not radically different from the previous version, the cabin is hushed, functional, and spacious thanks to that lengthier wheelbase. For payload duty, every Silverado includes 12 tie-downs and a high-strength steel bed that's easily accessed thanks to corner bumper steps. Fill that bed and you'll appreciate the optional digital rear-view mirror. For towing, Chevy includes an app with checklists and a helpful trailer light test feature. We wish the option sheet also offered adaptive cruise control or blind spot warning that accounts for a trailer, but there's no arguing with the Silverado's varied engine choices. For 2019, there's a 4.3 liter V6, a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder, 5.3 and 6.2 liter V8s, and later in the year, a three liter inline six cylinder turbo diesel. And no, details of the diesel were not available as of the making of this video. Add countless trims, two cab sizes, two bed lengths, and plenty of cool options, and there's a Silverado for nearly every taste. Where the Silverado's tow capacity peaks at 12,200 pounds, the Ram 1500 can lug up to 12,750 pounds, assuming you're cool driving the smaller quad cab. Does an extra 550 pounds of capacity really matter to most drivers? Eh, probably not, but it does to those who tow or to those who like to lord their truck's numerical superiority over others. Either way. While the Silverado is a veritable buffet of trucky choices, the Ram 1500 offers a more focused menu. Engine choices are limited to a 3.6 liter V6 and a 5.7 liter Hemi V8, each paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Standard on the V6 and optional on the V8 is eTorque, a mild hybrid system that imparts brief bursts of supplemental torque along with a reasonable bump in fuel economy. Like the Silverado, the 2019 Ram also rides on a new, lighter, and stronger frame that does good things for the 1500's already plush ride. Seriously, the Ram's rear coil springs and optional air suspension work wonders. Matching its on-road refinement is a classy interior with smartly placed controls and a superbly spacious crew cab blessed with massive rear seat legroom. We'd linger on those details, but the optional 12-inch infotainment screen is super distracting. It's a dazzling centerpiece for a welcoming interior, but for daily usability, we actually prefer the physical controls included with the smaller 8.4-inch Uconnect system. Back to work, the Ram 1500 handles hefty payloads with ease. If you're willing to sacrifice some space, the optional Ram box adds lockable storage for smaller items. KBB's projected five-year cost-to-own data suggests the Silverado and F-150 are more economical long-term investments, but for daily livability and robust capability, the Ram 1500 is a worthy choice. Rounding things out, we have the Ford F-150. As the only carryover model in this little test, you'd think the F-150 would be stuck playing catch-up, but by the numbers, the F-150 is still the one to beat. It has best-in-class towing and best-in-class payload capacity. The F-Series is also the best-selling vehicle in the U.S., so clearly Ford is doing something right. Where engine choices are concerned, the F-150 provides a Silverado-like buffet. And here we go again. There's a 3.3-liter V6, a 5-liter V8, EcoBoost V6s in both 2.7 and 3.5-liter variants. There's a high-output 3.5-liter EcoBoost featured in the F-150 Limited trim and Raptor, and finally, a turbocharged 3-liter diesel V6 that delivers up to 30 highway MPG, according to the EPA. Ugh, all these engines are going to wear out my voice. Then there are the three body styles, regular, super cab, and super crew, along with three bed lengths, plus trims ranging from elementary work trucks up to this fancy King Ranch to my beloved Raptor, which looks like this when it's jumping. Ah, it's fun. 
During our little test, the F-150 hauled and towed with great competence. Bed accessibility is eased by the optional bed step, though GM's multi-pro six-function tailgate utterly obliterates the F-150 where usability is concerned. Can't wait for that little wonder to find its way onto the back of the Silverado. Anyway, for trailering, Ford's Pro Trailer Backup Assist lets the driver steer rearward using a simple dial, radically reducing the likelihood of a YouTube-worthy fail. We also love that, just like the Ram 1500, the F-150's blind spot warning system accounts for a trailer. The F-150 is a value-rich, flexible, capable pickup truck offered in a range of styles. It also won Kelly Blue Book's Pickup Truck Best Buy Award for 2019, so yeah, we like it. Then again, there are so many variables in the world of pickup trucks, depending on your preferences and priorities, either the Ram or Silverado might be the better buy. If you'd like a deeper look at any of these sweet rigs, mosey on over to KBB.com. Huh. What's that sound? 